Turning dollars and cents into drama, the blue chips meet Broadway. But there's a twist in this modern day tragedy. Yes, Enron is now entertainment. When we tell you this story, you'll see it can never be exactly what happened. But we're going to put it together and sell it to you as the truth. The London production of Enron the Play opened a rave reviews. It even extended its run. I believe in God, I believe in democracy, and I believe in the company. Now, Ken Lay and his cast of capitalist characters are preparing for their Broadway debut. In a sense, back at the scene of the crime. I think America has to be ready to look at it, just as we do to in Britain. It's not really a matter of if, it's like now it's, it's time. But just because Enron was a huge success across the pond doesn't necessarily mean it's going to play well with audiences here in America. Enron still brings back a lot of bad memories. And here on Broadway, they may be singing a different tune. I thought it was really surprising that it would be of interest up here. Susan and Robert Martin live outside of Houston, Texas, Enron territory. So imagine their surprise when on their visit to New York, they saw this marquee on the Great White Way. She's intrigued and wants to see the play, but the couple knows people who lost everything because of Enron. They're mad. They're still mad. They're very mad. They feel betrayed. A lot of people got hurt by the guy you're playing. Yeah, I know. Norbert Leo Butts is Jeff Skilling in the Broadway production. He made the mistake of wearing a shirt with the Enron logo in the streets of New York. And a security guy came up to me and said, you better be careful wearing that T-shirt around. I don't think we, we can underestimate the, the fact that it hits uh, very close to the bone for a lot of people. For now, Enron is banking on Broadway to turn this fiscal fiasco into a new revenue stream. If the audience packs the house to relive this true story of false profits, it may not be curtains for Enron after all. Do you think people are ready to laugh at this yet, though? Yeah, I think Americans are ready to laugh at almost anything right now, absolutely. Carter Evans, CNN, New York.